Hey everybody, welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Craft. Out with the family and uh, we're just poking around through the woods here along the Dungarvan and we're looking for uh, chanterelle mushrooms, so come along with us. Welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Craft. So I'm chasing along behind Ken Boudicker here, son of the owner of uh, Cooper Hollow Lodge where we're staying this weekend and he's teaching me how to identify chanterelle mushrooms. He's been living in this area his whole life and he knows what he's talking about. So let's see what we can find. There's a couple little ones. Here's a, here's a couple here. And just take a razor knife and slice them off like that and then Let's see. Just come back. And one thing you'll notice is the uh, the fork gills coming out from underneath the cap that go straight down the stock. Mm -hmm. They're never hollow. Here's a good one. Here's a good one right there. Here's a good example. You can see those uh, what they look like. fork gills. Mother-in-law just picked this one a minute ago. See them fork right up underneath there? And then run down. Cut that one uh, down through the center there, Ken. Just to show they're not hollow. A solid meat. Perfect. Let's go find some more. So we managed to find a bunch of chanterelles. So we're going to go back to the uh, camp now. We're going to just go through them, inspect them, and, and make sure they're all uh, the right type. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Look at this handful I just got. Just pulled the truck over. Dude. Oh man! You guys gotta come over here and have a look. Now this. You guys gotta come. Look. This is what we're looking for right here. This is a patch. This is a patch of chanterelle mushrooms right here. Wow. They grow in around, you know, spruce. I find anyway. Yes, sir. I always find them growing around. That right there is probably. Very quarter nice. what we've harvested so far. Yeah. If not oh, double yeah. in these no, no, two no. patches. This is awesome oh, right here. A lot of these. Right Come on here. over and see these kids before we cut them up. Look at the size of that guy. Yeah, I'll we'll cut them down here. It's a meal. Yes, sir. Beauty. A couple more here. So that's the Hooper Hollow hunting camp here on the Dungarvan River. House on the right is Martin's, the old fella. And uh, that's a 12 bedroom hunting cabin on the left. Toad. You gonna hop away for us, little toad? This is the haul we got. You can
can just uh, you can look through them after you get them home and you can see those ridges as opposed to fine papery gills and they're forked they start they move along they split into two keep going and if you uh, if you take one and cut it through the middle they're always solid solid flesh they won't be hollow you can always see the fork gills this is a nice young one deep 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 yellow almost orange color nice soft bristle brush clean out from in between the uh, Ridges. So I'm using real butter. I just uh, softening up the garlic a little bit. <clears throat> the big ones I sliced up. The small ones I just left whole. Just gonna saute them up with some garlic and salt. I'll put the salt in last because salt tends to dry things out. I won't cook them too too long. I'll cook them until they reduce in size by like half or so. Probably just like uh, cooking regular mushrooms, like white grocery store mushrooms, button mushrooms. A lot of water comes out of them and they shrink right up. Yeah, so we'll cook these up and then we'll try them out. Don't worry if we made a mistake and you got jack-o'-lanterns, they only make you sick, they don't kill you. Thank hmm. so thanks for joining us here this afternoon for our little family mushroom hunt. Now remember this video isn't designed to help you go identifying mushrooms, it was just uh, some information on uh, some of the uh, characteristics that we saw in the chanterelles that we were picking. I don't want you guys uh, taking this video and saying, oh, uh, this is how to identify chanterelles and going out and getting yourself hurt there. Ken, uh, that took me out and showed them to me, he's lived here his whole life and, and he's been picking them his whole life so he knows exactly what he's looking for. I've also done my homework and uh, you know together we were able to uh, make a real positive ID there. So again, thanks for joining us here on Outdoor Adventure Craft. Make sure to uh, subscribe, like, and comment on the videos. And check out my new website at www.outdooradventurecraft.com. See you next time.